Hi friends, welcome back. This is the walkthrough for uh, hack the box impossible password and uh, here's the binary which I have downloaded from hack the box. So this is a reversing challenge and uh, let's just see how to solve it. So let's just open it with radar and let's just print the main function and see how so this is how the assembly code looks like and uh, in this assembly you can see there is a string super secret key then there is a character array which is uh, having these characters stored then there is a printf statement which prints some character or string and then there's a scanf which is scanning some input from us then there is again a printf then comparison so to better understand this binary let's just uh, give it a executable permission and see how it works So it's printing this star character as we can see from this printf which is the first one which is called then it's waiting for some characters and uh, it's uh, waiting for up to 20 characters and uh, then let's say we put in something and uh, it's exiting so if you see this uh, this is printing what we print what we so this is the input we provided and this is the second printf which is printing exactly the same which uh, uh, we provided as input but in the brackets square brackets so here is this comparison after this comparison this is calling this exit function so if we can bypass this uh, jump oh, yeah. statement then we'll be able to bypass this exit function and uh, we'll proceed further so to bypass this exit function we need this string comparison to be true so if you see these are the two um, arguments rsi and rdi these are passed to this comparison function and then if these are uh, exactly equal it will return zero in eax which uh, we are uh, checking against this so here you can see um, s1 is uh, what the input which we have provided and uh, s2 is uh, uh, this string super secret key so if we provide this string super secret key as a input we must be able to bypass this okay so so we provided super secret key and uh, here in this comparison it uh, evaluated to true and we bypass this whole stuff so these two commands didn't execute and we are now here so it's printing something else and uh, then it's again waiting for some input of uh, 20 characters percent 20 s audio jungle so this is print and it's again exiting so it looks like similar one so first uh, it is printing star then it expects some input from us we provide correct input then it's proceeding further and second time if you see there's a function called time which is called after this scanf and then mm, this comparison is happening so let's just see how this function is working and 
let's just print the so this is the function which is called and this function is called with the edi as hex ka 14 which is uh, um, equal to 20 in decimal and here it is calling some time function then some s rand so it's for generating random values then a malloc function is called for uh, dynamic allocation of memory so this is doing some stuff with the uh, time and uh, allocating some random memory so just get back to the main function and uh, see if uh, we can bypass this jump so that uh, we can proceed to this statement we can execute this statement which is uh, uh, which probably will be giving us our flag so to bypass this we need this jump condition to be true and uh, what we can do is either we can uh, analyze this function in more detail or uh, the second thing what uh, we can do is uh, uh, change this binary change this instruction to not so that uh, this instruction won't be executed and we will not go to the end of the function so if we change it to oh, no yeah, then these instructions will be executed so how do we do that first we need to open the binary in write mode so here's the command o plus now let's just go to visual mode press p to change the way it represents and uh, here if we put in c then come to this and uh, now press i to insert hex and we'll insert two knobs which is which are donated by 1990 so if you see now this is changed now we Audio can channel. exit the binary and uh, execute it to see if it gives us our flag even though the second comparison is wrong it will give us our flag which is this so how does it happen I'm sorry for that So now what is happening is even though um, we provided wrong input second time the comparison evaluated but uh, no jump was taken because of these two knobs which we have inserted and uh, it just printed a flag so that's it for this video i hope you like it please share and subscribe to my channel at viral cost